What's going on everyone? Thank you so much for checking out this very special Hunt's First Look video. My name is Josh and today I'm taking a look at the IdeaCam S1 Pro from BenQ. The IdeaCam S1 Pro is BenQ's answer to the recent surge in webcam popularity, offering a host of exclusive features and functions to help you really step up your webcam game. Let's start here with what comes in the box. First, you are given the actual idea cam, which sports an eight megapixel Sony CMOS sensor and has been tuned by BenQ AQ Color. The idea cam can shoot up to 2448p at 30 FPS or 1080p up to 60 FPS for a bit of slow motion. Also in the box is one magnetic 15 times zoom lens, which when you have it attached, will automatically have your idea cam swap to macro mode. There's also a very easy to use fill light built into the actual camera to illuminate your items if you're using macro mode as well. You get one magnetic privacy cover, which is pretty self-explanatory, one camera mount for the top of your monitor, one Inspire control puck, which at this point supports Chrome and Edge and will allow you to zoom, focus, capture stills, mute your mic, and freeze your frame all from here. The puck itself does require two AAA batteries to function, just to let you know. And last but certainly not least, you get one USB nano receiver that allows your puck here to communicate with your computer. Now the setup itself is fairly simple with only a few steps involved. First, you have to place the mount on top of your monitor with the weighted side resting against the back of your monitor and tighten it to secure the angle. Next, you place the idea cam itself on the mount and connect the USB cable to your computer. To use the puck, you need to first insert the batteries and then plug in the nano receiver into your computer. And really that's pretty much it for the hardware. Like I said, it's pretty straightforward. Now to actually utilize your idea cam, you need to fire up the Inspire software, which is compatible with Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, and Zoom, and then allow your software to share screen with Inspire. Just as a quick note, Inspire is an online based free software that is designed specifically to be used with the idea cam. And that's really it. The idea cam is now ready to use. Like I said, Pretty simple. All right, so let's check this thing out actually working and in action. So uh, I'm going to first fire up Google Meeting here because that's going to be my webinar slash meeting software of choice. Um, and then after that, I am going to access the Inspire website because you need that to be running for this thing to actually uh, recognize the idea cam as your webcam. I'm gonna go back to Google Meet. I will be starting a new meeting here, start an instant meeting. And look at that. It automatically recognizes the uh, the idea cam as my primary webcam. Let me get this out of the way here, which is great. No fuss, no mess. You just plug it in and it's going to work like this. The other software, um, Zoom and Microsoft Teams are a little bit separate in terms of the way that it connects, but it's all pretty standard, pretty self-explanatory and pretty simple here. So let's break down some of the coolest features and functions that the idea cam actually has to offer here. Starting specifically with the top-down view automatic orientation, which I think is going to be really helpful for a lot of people, especially like myself who do product reviews. Uh, what we're going to be looking at today is the BenQ puck that it comes with, uh, because this is not, just as a little note, optimized for Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, or Zoom. So if you want to use the puck itself, you do have to use it through the Inspire software, um, but that's fine for our purposes today. We don't need it, and it's going to let us show off the capabilities of this actual camera here. So let's start off by doing the top-down view and showing you how it automatically orients. So like, as you can see, once it gets down to this, it will automatically flip so that when you're doing a meeting, when you're doing a presentation, you don't have to be fussing around with any of the buttons, your mouse, anything like that. It's automatically gonna do it. So another great feature that we actually have to use here is the handheld mode, which I will show off right now, where you just take the webcam itself off the mount and it will automatically shift into autofocus, and it can just be really useful for getting a different perspective on things. The last thing that we are going to cover today is the macro capabilities of this camera, because as I said before, you are given a 15 times macro lens that magnetically connects to the actual idea cam here. So without further ado, let's test this thing out. Like I said, snaps right on like so easy. Look, I'm all out of focus now because we are in macro mode. I'm going to turn the light on just because we're gonna need a little bit of illumination here, especially when we're this close up. And like before, I am going to be using the puck. So let's take a look here. And look at that. Look, and it'll automatically focus in and you have enough light, which is really, really key. 
So again, for anyone who's doing anything detail oriented where it makes sense to be showing the materials, uh, what it's made out of, um, any real fine details, this is going to hopefully be able to be utilized by a lot of people, not just people who are constantly in meetings. But if so, this is a great low profile webcam for anyone out there who needs something like that. Now with the recent uptick in remote working and live streaming, it can be difficult to find a no fuss all in one solution for you without breaking the bank. Overall, the IdeaCam S1 Pro is one of the most versatile webcams I have seen up to this point and it will be a breath of fresh air for any streamers, studio based content creators, product reviewers for YouTube, live presenters and more. The effortless setup, ease of use and long list of useful features makes this an incredible addition to your workspace. Thank you so much for checking out this special Hunt's first look video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel so you never miss an upload. Once again, my name is Josh, and if you have any other questions about the BenQ IdeaCam S1 Pro or anything else camera related, please do not hesitate to give us a call, send us an email, DM us on one of our socials, or simply stop by one of our eight stores located around New England.